Alright, so in this video, we will be talking about reading and writing videos using OpenCV with Python. So first I'll talk about what is reading and writing videos, why do we need to read and write videos, how do videos get read and written, and we'll go into some coding examples. The first one is read video from webcam, and then read video from file, and then write video to file. Okay, so what is reading and writing videos? So typically when you have a video, it's going to consist of a bunch of frames and each frame you could treat it as an image. So here you can see we have uh, three frames and when we're reading and writing it, we're essentially getting these frames, sending it back and forth between our folder. Okay, so why do we need to read and write videos? So most of the time you would want to do that is because you might want to interpret something in the video. So here is an example, maybe you have a self-driving car and you want to identify the different things you see in the scene as your car is moving along. So you might identify a person or another car and so on. And then you may want to save the video for pre-processing or analysis of the videos that you saved. Okay, so how do videos get read and written? So typically what happens is uh, as we saw in the first uh, one of the earlier slides is uh, three frames. So you can think of each frame as uh, they have the three channels and each channel will have their own color. So here you can see we have a set of three, a set of three, a set of three because each image has their own channels. So we're passing back the matrices back and forth and each time we get a frame we're going to have uh, m by n by three uh, dimension for your matrix. Okay, so that's how we're passing back and forth the data. Okay, now without further ado, let's jump into the coding. Okay, so as usual, we're going to import our uh, modules that we'll need. So we're going to import NumPy as MP, import CV2 as CV, and then import OS to handle some of our reading and writing files. And we're going to call our first function video from webcam. And you get to see my lovely studio. So here what we're going to do is for anything, let's have our if name equals main. And we're going to call our video from webcam. Okay, so Inside here, the first thing you want to call is create a video capture object, and we're going to save it into cap. So we just have CV and then video capture, and then this number two here will specify the camera um, that you have. So here I have three cameras. It's going to be a third one. It's zero index. So um, that's why I'm using two. You could kind of play around with the numbers to see which one is the correct one that you're supposed to be using. So just test it out. And I'm going to say if not cap dot is opened to do some check and I'm going to exit. So that's just a safety in case um, the webcam is being hogged by another program, then we know to, you know, not keep trying. And in that case, you might have to debug your program. Okay, so I'm going to have a infinite loop here that will keep reading the frames from my video camera. So I'm um, going to return frame, the cap read function, what it does is it returns a return value to see if it's true or not, and then the frame is the each image, okay, and then I'm going to do a quick check to see if it's true, meaning that everything is working. I'm going to display my webcam feed by passing in the frame, so the frame is m by n by 3 if it's color. So that's my webcam feed. And then I'm going to add in a break key because I need a way to terminate when I'm done. So I'm going to say if cv dot wait key and then pass in 1. So I'm going to wait 1 millisecond and check if I press the q key. So if I press the q key, then it will break. And thus it will terminate my program. And then I could do a cap dot release and have a CV dot destroy all windows to close my window. Okay, so this should allow me to 
um, read my webcam. So if I run this, we should see a window pop up. And sometimes for the first time, it will load a little bit. So we'll go ahead and let it load. Okay, so now you can see my camera is showing. Um, I'm actually, I actually ended up changing it to one because my other webcam wasn't working properly. But you know, here you can see that my studio is back here. It's all green. It's my green screen. Um, but yeah, so that's how you read a video from webcam. Okay, so now we're gonna do a read video from file. So it's gonna be kind of similar, but just a little bit different. Go ahead and show you how that looks like. So we'll call this video from file. And then we'll call it here, video from file, comment this line out. And then inside of here, what we want is read in our file. So we have os.getcwd to get our root folder. And then our video path is gonna be os.path.join, pass in root. And then it's in my demo images folder, and I called it cute video onemov Okay, and again, we're gonna create our cap object called CV. And in this case, uh, video capture, what we wanna pass in instead of a number is gonna be the actual path to our video. Okay, so once we have that, we're gonna do a while cap dot is opened. Uh, we're gonna again retrieve it, do a cap.read. So we'll read each frame at a time, and then we'll do cv.umshow, pass in video, and then my frame. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of delay here. I'm gonna have 1000 divided by 60. Um, this is something you could kind of play around with. Here we're assuming um, we have 1000 milliseconds divided by 60, so that's the units. Um, but you can kind of play around to see what works. Because sometimes when you read it, it's kind of choppy, too fast or too slow, um, depending on how it's actually interpreting your data. So you might have to play around with that and see what looks good. Okay, so we're gonna add a wait key again. And this is if we need to break. So we'll have check for our Q key. And if we press our Q key, then it'll break, okay? And we need a double equal sign here. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. If I run my Python, of course we need to add in our colon here. So if I go ahead and run this, we see our little kitty being licked by another kitty, okay? So that's the video that was in my folder. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so now what we want to do is write our video to file. So let's go ahead and make a function for that. Call it def write video to file. And then we're going to call this write video to file. Okay, so that's our function. And inside, we're gonna go ahead and we'll use some of this stuff here. So we had our video from webcam, right? So here we want to uh, read it instead. So we have our cap and then some additional things we need to create is our 4CC. So this is our how we have like a four, it's like the compression format of how your video is stored. So we have a cv.video writer object now, and then 4cc. So usually you have to pass in like a four letter code here. Here we're using a xvid. You want to put it in quotes here. So this is a type of MPEG-4 encoding. Um, there's different ones you could choose, but this this has been pretty robust in my experience. So you could do root equals os dot get cwd again for my path. And in this case, I want my output path to be uh, os dot, dot path. 
dot join and then what we want to join is roots and then my output folder I'm just gonna put in my demo images and call this webcam dot avi and this avi format is just something that I tested and I know it works well but you could go ahead and try other formats as you please so here we're gonna create a out cv dot video writer so we're gonna pass in the output path which will be a string and then a 4cc uh, object here. And then we have 20, which is the frames per second and floats. And then the frame size, I'm gonna do a 640 by 480 just to make it small. Okay, and then we have, um, let's see, we're gonna have a while loop. So here we're gonna say instead while cap is open, And again, we're gonna read it, get the return value and the frame. And then if it's true, we're gonna do some stuff. So here we could still show it, but now we want to um, write it. So we have our out object here, video writer object. So we're gonna do out.write and then pass in the frame. And then once we're done, we'll hit the Q key to exit. And then we could do a cap dot release and an out dot release. Okay, so if I run this, I should my face should show up again, and then it should start recording. Okay, so it might take a minute for the webcam to initialize. If I go ahead and run this, okay, this was pretty fast. You can see that I popped up. Hello, and then I'm gonna stop it by hitting the Q key. So once I hit the Q key, I should see this webcam.avi stored. So in my demo images, I have a webcam.avi here. And if I reveal in File Explorer, I could go ahead and check out my video. Okay, so now if I open up my file, there was some error just then, but I fixed it. But now you can see that my video is playing. Okay, so that's how you would write a video to your file. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.